What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another game, a change in pass player training guide. Today we are taking a look at Verratti. So, I mean, these game changing pass, lads, I'm still a little torn on them uh, because I don't think that, you know, these players are the best selection for these uh, for this skill. Uh, I would have liked to see Kevin De Bruyne. I would have liked to see Modric. Uh, Bellingham is a good addition. Obviously, Tony Cruz is yet to come, but Verratti is probably one of the most interesting ones because he's a very attack-based player. Um, with good defense as well, just straight off the rip. So you can kind of train him in a multitude of ways, right? We're going to go into those ways now, but first we're going to take a look at his card. Now, the big thing with Verratti is, right, a lot of people are training Verratti defensively. I'm going to show you that build of him that people are using, um, but I'm going to show you why I kind of don't really like it. Um, and I'll show you very easily, because even though he does have a good base of um, stats for the defense, like he's got 76 tackle and 79 aggression straight off the rip, the big thing with this card is he does not have interception and he does not have blocker as a center midfielder. He's not a box-to-box -box or a destroyer. He is down as an orchestrator, which you can see there because he's he got really good passing and dribbling. So he's in the same mold here, I would say, as the likes of De Bruyne, the likes of Bernardo Silva. Them type of players that are going to be bringing others into it, killer passes, you know, shooting and touching and going, um, and kind of like a mixture of things. Now, he is not able to, he's not able to shoot. He doesn't have any really shooting uh, skills or anything like that. But he does have some excellent passing skills and excellent passing stats straight off the rip that you don't really need to train up. We're going to show you that in a second. But first, we will take a look at him. As you said here, low lofted pass, game-changing pass, weighted pass, true pass, and one-touch pass. Weighted pass is very, very key for this card, especially in the positions he's going to be picking up, especially if you use a lot of stunning shots as well, or stunning passes. Sliding tackle um, is nice to have as a defensive side to him if you want to press from the front, which is always important if you come up against a five at the back or you come up against a very passive player that goes full blue and does not want to play it. You can press very aggressively with Verratti without touching any of his defensive stats, right? But the thing that I like about him um, is obviously the fact that he's an orchestrator and he's kind of different than what you might be used to playing with. Obviously, his standard card is orchestrator as well. And every version of him is an orchestrator. But sometimes I think people get a little bit um, just like set in their ways about having three hole players or having, you know, a hole player in that attacking midfielder role. Verratti kind of switches that up and gives you a really top class, you know, end game level type player that you can get in your squad. So he's on a form this week as well, which is good. But we are going to take a quick look over on eFootball DB, right? So this is the first build we have of him, which is a defensive minded build. A lot of people seem to be using. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, oh, is this the best option for him? You know, he's got really high defense stats. But as an orchestrator, lads, his AI isn't going to be as good as a destroyer or a box-to-box. -box. Yes, he will be very aggressive. We know the likes of Pedri, right? If you take the likes of Pedri from Barcelona, who's a different type of player, obviously, than this, but Pedri is extremely aggressive when he doesn't have the ball and tracking and chasing and ha hassling and harrying. Verratti is kind of a similar type of player. He's like Kante in his AI that he does get on a lot of loose balls, intercepts a lot of balls. If you threw player skills like interception and blocker on this card, yeah, he would definitely be good in defense. But he doesn't have the speed or the acceleration that you would want compared to some other players like Caicedo or Kante or somebody like that. Um, so that is something that you need to take a look at as well. And depending on your squad, like depending on your squad, if you have got a good player in that role already, in that defensive role, which I will show you here, right? So, for example, on my one here, if I was signing Verratti and I was playing him, you can see how solid I am there as that orchestrator role. Now, that's just his base card at 83 overall, but we're set at the back with our three center backs. We've got Neymar and Cancelo to, you know, really rip it from the wings with the corners into Rashford at the far post or else touch and go with uh, Verratti and bring everybody into play. But that is kind of the orchestrator role I would use with Verratti, um, which is the best option for him from an attacking point of view. But if, if you wanted to be ultra competitive in midfield, that formation obviously works as well. You would literally just be switching Verratti with uh, Vieira in that circumstance there. And you would not be playing with that double DMF pivot. You would be playing with a CMF, which would be Verratti. And it would be this build. So if you are a bit loose and you are a bit kind of lacking in that area and you don't have a box to box, or maybe you just find that a box to box isn't attacking enough for your style of play, depending on your formation and tactics, if you're playing long ball counter or you're playing long ball or anything like that. Verratti is a good option to have if you've got an extremely good anchor man like Davids or Reichard uh, or Makalele or somebody like that, you know, Barrios or Declan Rice or any of those um, that will just kind of sit back and be defensive. Rodri, Fabinho, you know who I'm, who I'm talking about, that will sit back in the pocket and just break up those tackles, right? 
But I do think that this is definitely not the best version of Verratti because you're, you know, you're popping 10 into defending and 14 into lower body and you are kind of neglecting what this card is good at, which is passing and moving and dribbling and being very explosive. So this second version of him, I think, is the best, right? Um, we've got 35 levels to go with Verratti and I think that you should just max out his attacking capabilities, lads. You've got a very specific role to play with an orchestrator. So in my opinion, there's no point in trying to turn him into an all-rounder. He's not a box-to-box. -box. He's not a destroyer, as we keep saying. So there's no point in trying to make him one. Now, we can still pop a few into defending. And depending on how good of a player you are, um, and obviously pass assistants come into it and all that sort of stuff, whether you dribble that much and all that, you could actually cap this as well. Because you will, on A form, you will be getting that form arrow. The dribbling isn't as important as the tight possession and the ball control. So we could actually take a few of these away and still have 90 tight possession and 92 ball control from the rip. 87 dribbling is still over the 85 kind of like um, kickoff point that you will get a lot of those, you know, additional um, dribbling techniques and all that sort of stuff, especially because of the player skills he has. You're not going to be double touching like Neymar, but you still will be very solid on the ball because of that tight possession and ball control that the ball is going to stick to him, right? So you could take a few off dribbling. You could even take a few off passing if you wanted as well. I think 95 is a nice for this car because that's his main role, but you could get away with like 92 and 91, depending on your play style. If you use a lot of one-touch passing, you can get away with having 75 in the pass range. So even if you were to take out all, all his passing there, you're still going to have 87 off the rip. So I would probably cap it at 91 and 90 if you're an extremely good passer, um, or 92 and 91, or whatever you want to do there yourself. Um, you don't need to worry about shooting because his shooting is never going to go up high. But then you could also pop in a couple of more if you wanted to get that aggression to 85. You're still going to have a lot of... Uh, attack it's not going to be as defensively sound as this one but you will have the aggression and the attack limb, which means that you can you know attack from the front really and put your opponent under serious pressure which is what i think you know people would probably do um if they have good options on the bench that you could bring Verratti on he just kind of does it all i know i said not to make him into a complete box to box type player but you still have 92 ball control 90 type possession 92 low pass, 91 lofted pass with 82 acceleration and 93 balance with 80 stamina and speed. And then I would probably pop two more into speed, depending on how much ground you wanted to cover, if you wanted to go that route. Or else I would, as I always like to do, bring up that balance as far and as high as you possibly can to 95. And that will turn that player into almost impossible to get the ball off if you move the ball quick enough with him and touch and go. So that is Verratti, lads. As I said, if you are struggling with the passing a little bit or you're finding that the passing is a bit sticky, I think since the last update, lads, since yesterday, since Thursday, I think the game has changed slightly. There's a slight, I think, um, there's a slight change to the movement and stuff, which I'll get into if I am streaming today or else tomorrow. I will definitely be streaming Saturday evening. But yeah, you could obviously just pa uh, pack on a few more there. Um, and then you could also go, you know, go to the 95 range mark and, you know, you will have an extremely good player that you could be able to pass anywhere on the pitch with. But yeah, I definitely think have a look at the balance to, to kind of balance this card out. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back later and uh, hope to see you guys in the chat.